scared of the other numbers. Once you hear this hotline, you'll never call another one but mine any time of your life. Call me right now. I'm waiting. Fans, welcome back to the NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Sigmund, alongside me, Mark Bartzoy. Oh, and look in the ring there, Lee Sigmund, you got some balls. What are these, Dumb and Dumber against Jerry the King Lawler and the Spellbinder with the station on the floor. She is going to be with uh, Jerry the King Waller and Bill Superstar Dundee as they talk, take on the fans. Stan Lane, Steve Kern, Nashville, Tennessee, May 1st. And uh, I do have to say, she does fill out a tough seat. My fans, right here on the NWA Worldwide, we have a major announcement right here, right now. A TV title tournament, that's right. Here at NWA Worldwide, they are creating a TV title. We're going to have their tournament Saturday night, May 15th. Saturday night, May 15th, an NWA Worldwide Television Title Tournament. Well, that's enough. Well, it's whether you have the tournament. I think they should just hand that belt over to me and uh, just let me go home. Uh, Jerry the King Lawler and uh, Stephen Dunn in the ring right now. And Stephen Dunn and Lawler in the ring. Dunn backed Lawler up into the corner. Oh, Lawler ducks. He thinks. Oh, boy. Now, why did they have to hit him with a close fist? All the gentleman did was move, and those two goofs, those two behemoths, those two uh, morons, got to resort to fisticuffs. What's up with that? Now, now there's Stacy down on the uh, on the ring apron there, and Mark, she's a looker now. I'm going to tell the king you were looking at his girl. Now, put, I'm telling no, the king no, right Mark, now wait. you were looking at no, Stacy. Mark, hey, king, right now he's looking at your girl. Okay. No, I, I think I can run faster than Jerry Lawler. I bet you can't, but I bet the Fab can't run faster than Jerry the King Lawler and Bill Superstar that he come May 1st. Well, you know what I want to see is I want to see how fast and bad street boys can run uh, come tonight in the Nashville Fairgrounds when they've got to look new south right in the eyes because those boys are tough. I heard Ashley Hudson got a green card, so uh, he ain't going nowhere. He's here to stay. That's right. Ashley Hudson and Corey Williams, the new south to take on the bad street boys, Cannon and Shane. This is a grudge match from the tape you saw a little bit earlier. Uh, New South they stuck their nose in where it didn't belong. Like, we need a tape for that. We know them guys do that stuff. Ah, right? hit caught. Stephen Dunn got lucky. Now, uh, the reason they stuck their nose where it didn't belong, because I think I remember Stylin Shane Eaton and uh, Bart Sawyer stuck their nose where it didn't belong. Clearly, uh, it's clever editing on the behalf of our uh, control guy, Jeff. He edited my image, and I had nothing to do with it. I mean, I got my hands full with this barnyard goose in a uh, Falls County anywhere Texas death match. I'm telling you, Barnyard, anything that ain't nailed down, I'm hitting you with it. We may end up in the parking lot. We may end up in the balcony. Hey, we may end up in your sister. <laughs> now that line's already broke. Never mind, Barnyard. We'll find you someplace, I promise. Back to the action in the ring. Stephen Dunn and Jerry the King Lawler test the strength here. Oh, uh, I... I I'm liking this match, Lee Tidwell, because I know the King wants a shot at the Fabs, and that's where this video came from. Just prior to uh, the Vols taking on the Fabs, uh, the King pulled, pulled him, bribed him, whatever it took, asked Brian Christopher to please step aside so he could have a shot at beating the Vols so that he could come back and take on the Fabs, Stan Lane and Steve Kern. That's what this whole thing is about. This whole fight is over who's going to get the punch, the Fabs in the nose first, and I'm here to tell you, the King wants that shot. Um, they weren't as uh, lucky in the end of this match as, as they maybe could have been. But come May 1st, they're going, whoa, 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 Stacy, you just got a touch of man to make him fall down, didn't she? <laughs> Stacy there with the assist. Oh, she didn't do nothing. She's been standing there looking for him. Lawler with Dunn's head into the boot of the spellbinder. Oh, oh the spellbinder. What a freak this guy is. He is a phenom. He is a gym rat. He has muscles where people didn't even know they had muscles. And uh, see, the, there's Stacy over there saying hello to Steven, asking about some hair tips, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what it was. Now she just kind of dances away. Spellbinder there, whipping Dunn into the rope, misses the close. What's it going to be? Oh, oh Steven, big right right in the mouth. Oh, and don't fight with the spellbinder. Fans, we'll be right back. It's not Thursday, that's Friday, April 16th at 8 p.m., the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, an international TV taping. 24 NWA superstars in action, Friday night, April 16th at 8 p.m., the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, Nashville, it is an international TV taping. 24 of the top NWA stars will be in action, Friday night, April 16th, the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, Nashville wrestling fans, you don't want to miss this one. Wrestling fans, welcome back to the action in the ring now. Stephen Dunn in the spell by Noreen Riggins coming in. The referee holding him over. Lawler up on the turnbuckle. 
Second turnbuckle comes off, big right hand to Dunton. Oh, that big right hand from the King. Stacy cheerleading on the floor, uh, Spellbinder doing his part, and Reno Riggins uh, putting his best to help Stephen get beat up, trying to keep the referee's attention. Ah, uh, dumb and dumber in the ring. So many things happen here in NWA Worldwide, uh, expanding into the Atlanta market. I am so happy. You know, they've been sending me that little town out in the sticks outside of Atlanta. Loganville, Georgia on Thursday nights. Uh, Bill Barron's runs NWA Georgia out there. Bell time, 7.30, 8 o'clock, whenever Wild Bill gets in the mood. But uh, one of the, the few the voices of sanity in that whole crowd out there comes from WMOQ. They're in Monroe, Georgia. David Lloyd, Lynn Anthony, they're on the morning from 6 to 9. Uh, they're starting to uh, come around checking out NWA Worldwide, NWA Georgia. All sorts of things happening in Loganville. Also, Hot Atlanta, GA. You know, I'm like, I, I live in Atlanta now. I like it better there. Got a better class of TV in Mexico, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be in Canton, Georgia at the Sparkle Roller Skating Entertainment Complex Sunday evening, April 18th, 7.30 p.m. Live wrestling action coming to Canton, Georgia, compliments of NWA. Now, this match you're watching right now, folks, between the Vols and Jerry Lawler and the Spellbinder, this was for a shot at the Fab. It was supposed to be... Uh, an NWA tag team title rematch between the Vols and Spellbinder and Brian Christopher, but Jerry Lawler asked a little fatherly favor of Brian Christopher. Now, nobody's proved that yet. There's been no fraternity test. No one's for sure that Jerry the King Lawler is Brian Christopher's father. But, but as the days go by, Brian Christopher is looking more and more like Jerry Lawler. Well, it's environment. He's from Memphis. The King's from Memphis. They live in the same town. It's a Memphis look. I don't see why you always want to jump to conclusions and always want to look right at me. I see there's, there's Miss Stacy giving Stephen Dunn a little hair tip. She's trying to style his hair. He can't do anything with it. Uh, the camera, I wish would stay on Miss Stacy a little bit more. Uh, she, I'm telling looking, her you're looking at King. I'm telling King you've been looking at his girl. I'm sorry. Back to the action of the ring. Spellbinder off the rope. Big flip there. Just lands on Dunn. There's the cover. Stacy trying to get. There's the referee. And Reno with the save. Uh, there he is, Reno sticking his nose in where he does it long, making the, the save on uh, Stephen Dumb, who was out cold on the canvas in this fight with Jerry the King Lawler and the Spellbinder. I tell you what, uh, these fabs, there are a lot of guys wanting to fight them. Heck, I wouldn't mind poking them in the nose a couple of times. Well, the next match we know of for the fab, May 1st, Star Wars, folks, the fab, against Jerry Lawler and Superstar Bill Dundee, and in a little bit, later on in this broadcast, a major announcement concerning Star Wars and the Colorado Kid. Bart, I don't even think you know about this one. Oh, I bet I do, but I ain't going to tell you because uh, I'm smarter than you are. Now, also, at Lilani Guy and Bambi going to be here April 16th and 17th right to the Nashville Fairgrounds. Two of the finest NWA lady competitors right there in the ring. Oh, it's going to be great. Now, action back in the ring. You're covered there. Saved by Reno. And uh, doesn't Reno know you've got to make a tag before you get there? Uh, somebody please explain that to him. Well, he's got a five count to get out. I've seen you use that many times. That five I've never used out. it that way. When the referee tells me what to do it right away, I always abide by the rules. Five counts to break. Joe Cold, I see. Hold it to four and a half, four and three quarters. It, I see you're one of my fans. Thank you very much. I'll sign your autograph later. Back to the match in the ring. Uh, Spellbinder about to pick up Stephen Dunn. I'm sure he's going to take his head off some way. A uh, big body slam by the Spellbinder. No, I'm not going to sign your autograph right now. Uh, Spellbinder misses the elbow there. Take you down on the bottom line. Dang. I'm telling you what, Stacy's going to be at ringside May 1st, so maybe you want to just during the match, why don't you just wander down there and talk to her? <laughs> well, uh, I'll make sure Jerry the King Lawler. I'll make sure Lawler's in the ring at the time, and I'll bring you know somebody you, with me. Can't you do your job? Can't, don't you have enough mental? Aren't you smart as I am to be able to look? Ah, oh, Steven, don't make. Oh, somebody stop him. Reno Riggins over the top rope, bam, right hand. Oh, he's using a closed fist. That Reno Riggins, he's a freak. He's out of control. Somebody get a straight jacket, put it on Reno Riggins. That man's not sane. All four men in the ring, big scoop slam there by Stephen Dunn. Jerry the King Lawler just done, and big right hand. Uh, Reno Riggins over in the corner with the spellbind. Uh, and there's Miss Stacy. She's coming to help Stephen Dunn style his hair. He just can't do anything with it. Oh, now he's got, come on, treat her like a gentleman. Look at this Stephen Dunn. He's a Neanderthal. Oh, my. Oh. King's going to find out about this. King's going to be mad. Reno Riggins did not Spellbinder still off in the corner. Spellbinder picks up Reno Riggins. He's got a hold of the rope. He's not letting Spellbinder pull up there. Oh, Reno Riggins falls on top of Spellbinder. He's got him up. Oh, oh my out. goodness. Oh, this is what set up the match between the Vols and the Fabs. That'll be here next week in its entirety on this TV station. Mark, can, can, can Stacey come? I'm telling you. 